it's one of those ball games that could have gone either way. But I, I thought the second half we we turned out a lot. We became a lot more aggressive on the defensive end. We were able to force some turnovers that that led to some opportunities that we just were not getting in the first half. Uh, I thought they did a very good job of executing uh, in, the, in in the first half, and and we had a hard time of making shots the first half. We shot the ball poorly uh, from the three, and, and I didn't think that defensively uh, we were we were kind of dialed in. The second half, I thought we came out the second half a, a lot more locked in, locked into our defensive schemes, forced some turnovers. But then in the middle way of the half, um, Ryan came in and hit three threes in a row and kind of put us back on our heels. And once again, we we I thought our guys we called timeout and uh, they they regrouped and mentally from that point on, I thought that uh, we showed a lot of character. Louisville's a very good basketball team and they're, they're hard to prepare for. They execute very well. They were extremely patient, uh, and they, they uh, moved the ball in, in the first half and really, really made it hard for us to force any turnovers. The second half, I thought we just turned it up a lot, forced some turnovers, got some easy baskets, and that really probably made the biggest difference in the game. Gunner, what was the difference in your team in the overtime and being able to win this game? Was it defense or any I, I thought it was our defense. Our defense and, and – and, we made an adjustment because we were not shooting the ball very well from the perimeter, and and we just spread the floor and started taking the ball to the basket, and and, and we we got some fouls and, and, and made our free throws down the stretch. Uh, I didn't think the first half I was a little concerned, but I think we shot 57 percent from the free throw line in the first half, and the second half it was 91. That's a big difference, and we were able to get to the get the attempts. Um, in the first in the second half, I think with about. 12, 13 minutes to go, we were in the bonus, but we, we, did, we didn't take advantage of it until the latter part of the game. We didn't get the ball inside. We weren't taking it to the basket very strong. But because their defense uh, was so solid, uh, we, we just we changed uh, our attack and started just driving the ball to the basket, and I think they gave us an opportunity to get to the foul line and also loose them up, and we got a couple jumpers as well. Coach, Trey with five steals on the night. How important has he been for you guys on this season and tonight? Well, he's very consistent with his effort and his focus. He's no doubt that he's a leader on our team. And even though I, I don't think he made a basket the first half it, 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 as well, but I thought that he came out the second half and he just tried to help us find a way to win. And, and that shows that we, we're a team that's fighting and, and they're, they're dialed in, they communicate with each other, their body language was, was excellent. Uh, Phil Kofa wasn't having one of his best games, but he went back, we took him out and put um, – uh, Requan in, and I thought that his his effort there down the stretch and his leadership, his, his him being so verbal and calling out our defensive uh, systems down, it really made a difference down the stretch. Leonard, what do you think that the Andrew has proved to the ACC over the last five six weeks? That, that he's grown and improved, and I think he's only scratched the surface of his potential. Uh, he's he's really doing a nice job. He's getting more and more confident, and. Uh, we put him in a position where he has a chance to have some success, and he's he's he he's um, uh, he's really growing up and maturing and making good decisions with the ball and uh, realizing that uh, the the input he has on the team, and <coughs> he's patient. Uh, he's uh, he's extremely aggressive. He's not losing his aggressiveness. I just think that he's uh, the game is slowing down for him a little bit, and I think he's. He's, he's producing a lot better. The fact that he was able to put up so much tonight and then only have two fouls, how, how much of a sign of progress is that? that? That's a huge uh, uh, sign of that he's making progress. And uh, he's so important to us that he's playing a starter's minutes. He, we're just letting him see let him see the game, allow it to come to him. He's not as aggressive. He's fouled out of five games. Uh, the rest of the team is fouled out of three. So, so But he's, he's playing smarter. And make a better decision on the defensive end. Well, well, we didn't have much choice. You know, we had to go with our most experienced guys tonight, and uh, mm -hmm. I thought that made a big difference. We just, uh, we still have confidence in those guys. This just was not a game that we felt <laughs> that we could uh, play uh, a deep bench. Coach, uh, with the shooting struggles, are you okay with the shot selection and the execution? 
Well, we just shot 60, 45, and 50 I don't, I, in three straight games f from three. So I don't think we're struggling. I just think that sometimes the other team, the defense is, is doing a pretty good job. I mean, this, this team uh, uh, shot 42% uh, for the game. You know, the most important thing is trying to find a way to win. But we shot, uh, I think, 60% at Miami. We shot 40% against uh, Clemson and shot 50% at Syracuse. So I wouldn't say we're struggling. I think Blair, we just didn't shoot the ball well tonight. Blair, with this winning streak that teams on the, on the road and you're – it means that we won six games. And nobody's gone to the NCAA winning uh, six conference games. That we got to keep stacking on victories. You know, it's just like sometimes you got to learn how to handle defeats, and you got to bounce back. I think you got to learn how to handle successes as well. And uh, we we need to make sure we stay mature, stay focused, uh, realize that we still have a lot of room for improvement. Uh, we can't play guys uh, 40 minutes. We can't play guys. We got to get more guys involved. Um, the residual effect of, of playing guys this many minutes, two or three games in a row, you start wearing yourself down. So we still got a lot of work we have to do. Um, by no means have we arrived. Uh, we're still uh, on that climb. And I, I like the direction we're moving in, but it's not time to start celebrating taking any bows now. I just, you know, the veteran guy stepped in there and made the free throws. I mean, there's, uh, I asked um, when they had, we got the technical, and uh, I think we had two guys shooting. Fiondu was one of them. And so they have two guys on the court that we, they can shoot technicals. Uh, it's a little different than what we've done in the past. Last year we shot 69% uh, as a team. I think this year we're shooting, what, 74, 75, which is, uh, makes a big difference in, when games are on the line like <laughs> the, the game tonight. Well, that's what I was saying. You know, we, we, we just – kids just find a way to win. They're realizing that defense is important. We There's no question that our defense won the game for us tonight. I think that, that goes without saying. And they understand that. And, and that's – we haven't always been that focused on the defensive end. Uh, but, I, but I think I, that's part of the growth process I think our guys are going through. A month ago, you guys were in a tight game right here against Duke. Obviously, a different result. And obviously, that's a different team. But from that point to now and everything you guys have been through, what lessons do you think you guys have learned that you've applied? I just think we, we learned that we got we to play, try to play 40 minutes of aggressiveness that we played the second half. We're not, and if we, had, if we had really grown to the point where uh, that we could do that, then we probably would be in the situation we're in. But that's part of the, the journey that these guys, uh, that we're going through. We, uh, we, 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 we don't want to put ourselves in a position where we got to dig ourselves out of out of these holes. So we got to find a way to be more consistent for 40 minutes and not 20. Everybody else set? Thank you very much. Thanks, Richard.